as old as Ixert is, uh, they have been playing all through uh, basically this game, and so uh, it's really cool. It's really humbling for me to watch the three guys that it used to I used to play with constantly get in the top eight, which is KCK, Boo, and Beautiful Dude. Yeah, I mean they haven't stopped playing as part of it. Yeah, exactly. It really shows. Their effort really shows here. And uh, right now, KCK with like a 50% lead. So both these guys have played Ooh. this matchup quite a bit. Don't be surprised if you see a little something extra than the traditional matchup. Yeah, you might see some like player-specific reads, which is a lot always fun to see. Yeah, so if you see something really weird, like why would he do that? Why right would there? he do that? And why did it work? Yeah, exactly. That's probably why. These guys play so much being in the region. The best Save of so time. Offer. That's how we're gonna start this today. Bro, this could be bad if he gets hit. It's gonna be a mortal counter, whatever hit it is. Just gets out of it, Grandpa Viper, walk up. Mortal counter jab! Oh man, he got the jab out, but he got a lot of meter from that sequence right there. RC, yeah. the big driver, he gets the hit, and that should be the first round. RTL, closing it out quite simply. Yeah, and obviously everybody knows Kizzy K. He's one of the best in the US. You see him travel, but if you don't know who Fu is, he's a Hanging player them from Santa Barbara. He has some of the best ball control in the world. Yeah, and he's just one of the best AU plays. Really consistently get, does pretty well in these tournaments. And he, he missed the he missed the combo down the throw, but still pushes Kizzy toward the corner. Yeah, you can see him. He controlled that blue ball right in front of Kizzy. Makes him unable to move around. Wow, he went under the fireball. Elk hunt, baby. I knew it would happen, but I thought he was <laughs> still recovering to it, you know? Nice yeah. anti-air. Ah, didn't confirm it. Yeah, not a full combo, but still has the corner pressure right here. So good for Heihyo, and he's been able to cage Kizzy he And yeah, not letting him out here. Not letting him eat either. Bull Bash, not counter hit. Punishes the E. YRC. Yeah, he didn't even get the full calories, right? He's still super low on that meter. Yeah, if he, if he interrupts it too quickly, he doesn't get all the food meter back. Oh, that ball control. Wow. The reversal throw gets him to E, but he's going to get punished for it. For, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Black Beat still is going to combo. That's going to be tying up the round count for Fu. That was a much better round. Able to control the pace the entire time. Nice to S full, full combo. That's a combo, you know? Yep. Counter Catch hit. Him. Oh, yeah. no. He leaps, so wasn't able to pick it up. Yeah, he expected Fu not to get hit. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Counter hit. Jump 6H out of the air. RC to get the E and still gets a beak driver on top of it. Yeah, I mean, his guard gauge wasn't like built like super high, but it was high enough to do that much damage. And here. Yeah, one of Sin's best starter in this. That's saying something considering this character, and Ooh. that's going to be a perfect. Yeah, just, you know, that really like put him in the corner, really set up for what that situation happened after that. Nice whiff punish. Kizzy K with the reversal. Yeah, the first game was really all about space control, right? Both, all the rounds that were won were basically all about controlling the opponent, making sure to mitigate their options. But this time, we'll see if there's something a little bit different. Yeah, high boost still takes out of there. Good challenge against that jump dust. Yeah, he's dead really angle. Good. Yeah, doesn't want to play that game. El Cunt in the corner. Catches him and confirms it. Yeah, well done off the high 2H. Oh. oh. The steer oh, dash. The oh, no. Start. These hands, oh, he will catch right. them. No, he did it too high, so he wasn't able to put it behind him for the combo. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Dead angle again. Nice IP in the throw, OTG, it's a kill. Yeah, there you go. Normally when you use that clap super, you can control them anywhere in the circle. So you normally want to put them behind them at your feet, and then you can combo off it. Lead catches them. I can actually they're jumping, but big yeah. damage there and forced the burst. Early burst in the... Another in the round as dash. well, yeah, but that's going to be a lot of damage. Especially when you use your burst early on, you want to extend the round as long as possible. Good challenge. Air dash oh hits him. Oh my god, he gets the combo. He can turn this around here. I'm telling you, man, this ball, this guy's ball control is out of this world. Throw broken, but continues the pressure. RC, throw. Woo! OTG tries to make something tech RTL and oh, hit. he hits it and he switches it up. RC is going to get the combo and that's going to be the round. Ooh, tech RTL. But I want to tell you how important it is that Fu is able to extend that round. Even if he didn't win it, look, he almost has his burst back yeah, from it. Yeah, that's really important. It's a small victory there and it may lead to a match win for him. Goes under trades, but he's okay with the reversal. Invincible baits the burst. 
we go. Salsa pressure in the corner. Didn't check his likes. Counter, he's going to be able to pick that up. No, missed the beat driver, but PRC saves the day. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, OTG okay. Bull bash setup? Okay. I guess when you're one of the best in the world, you've got to think of everything. Kizzy K taking it 2 to 0 over the food. Yeah, really good usage. Omito, Nage, you know, Haka and still like, still play so well in this game despite it being a new version of yeah, it. Absolutely. So he reflected the first one, didn't reflect the second one. And he's lost a little eddy to the needle. And this is probably really bad. Yeah, this is actually where you don't want to be. Zato does not have a lot of defensive options, especially without meter. I mean, it's going to be pretty rough for him. Yeah, he's trying to jump into the, the, into the pinwheel to really reduce the number of options, but he's getting tagged. Jumps over. Yeah, finally gets a chance. He's not have any meter. And he lost Eddie again. Yeah. That one's, this one's pretty rough, right? You got to think about how you're approaching with Eddie because of the pin and being able to hit Eddie at multiple uh, angles. Okay. RC's in. Just stay in. Into low. Wow. Oh, the classic bait and switch. You know, use the old dodgeball tactics. Toss the ball up in the air, make him look high, grab him low. Nice challenge. Good. Yeah, he technically pressed buttons, I think. Beautiful dude was ready. Reflect. Yeah, early burst. Uh, and he lost a little Eddie again. The jump kick. Gets the challenge. Invite hell. Doesn't work. Yeah, you, usually Beautiful Dude's able to force the neutral with Eddie, right? It's really hard to snipe the characters. Nice. Out. No, Peter. Does Good the damage. No counter hit? Yes, and he's doing on a healthy no, Peter light. again! Hit. Good damage. He's a little Eddie's gone, but he's got the stun. That was a fantastic drill. He knew he was going to get, get he back in. OTG, no, not quite. Oh, oh okay. Shadow Gallery takes it. Yeah, what a great round for Beautiful Dude. A big change. Even with Eddie getting sniped, he's been able to control him in that round. That was a big deal. Let's see if he can repeat. Uh -oh. Okay, good. He, he sacrificed a little Eddie there to get a cartoon slash, but does get air thrown by Raven. Gold Burst completely whiffs. Yeah, Gold Burst completely whiffs. He's not going to lose all of his first meter, but it's unlikely for him to get another one in this game. That's a throw from Kazunoko in the corner. He's getting excited. Yeah, double scratch there. Trying to get a little bit of that meter. Oh, uh, this could be it. He's got so much meter. Yeah, and he's going to make sure that this is going to be done and dusted. First game goes to Kazunoko. Really a game of momentum on this one. Yeah. The opponent and block and then put the mix-ups on. That's been super hard for Beautiful Dude. Yeah, Zato is a character. He like by himself is not that great, but because he's technically two characters, Eddie and Zato, he can do a lot of things other characters can't do, like this stuff. Like you know, you can do like pressure strings that between basically two characters. But you know, once he gets hit or if he loses that Eddie meter, then he's by himself. And he's, as you've seen, not so great by himself. Yeah, poor defensive options. Even with meters, they're not that great. He really has to play good defense and good control in order nice to succeed. Like, Okay, went for the scoop. YRC. Yeah, Kazunoko finds the opening here. Good reflect, yeah, yeah stops dude. the pressure. His use of structure shade has made it a little bit more difficult for him to just get in for free. Nice, oh, don't pick up there. Okay, it doesn't challenge this time, gets tagged low. Oh, yeah, Nice fly, out. yeah. Ooh. That's his double jump. Yeah, 6P into command grab, only works on counter hit now. Air throw, RC, this should kill. Yes, and that's it. That's going to be set point for Kazunoko. Looking really good here. Beautiful dude looking a little bit better on keeping Eddie, but Kazunoko's Oki has been very strong. And not only that, he hasn't been hit by Nobuter since that round many rounds ago. So. Yeah, the one round he won was two counter hit Nobuter. Dead man's right? hand, and he catches the tech. Forces Kazunoko to burst. Yeah, and he forces a poor situation with the 2H, Ooh. right? You either get hit by the 2H or block the 2H, and I still get a mix-up, or you get grabbed by Dead Man's hand. Yeah, Kazunoko relentless here, gets a throw. Double scratch, he's excited. So we haven't really talked too much about it, but you know, down in the bottom right corner of the screen, Kazunoko has an excitement gauge, and the more the more he gets in it, the more powerful some of his special moves are. Yeah, it gives him more damage. That ball gets more hits. The super gets more hits as well. Yeah, and his command throws uh, gets more reward as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's something to work on. But Kazunoko, it's actually been pretty hard for him to get meter, all things considered. He's just been worrying about the neutral for the most part. Yeah, he hasn't really been trying to get too excited. You know? 
And this is tough for Beautiful Dude. Gets open to Pi. Tries to bait a burst. It didn't exist. Beautiful Dude has a chance here. Reflects again. These are such good reflects. Yeah, these Drunker Shades have been fantastic. No, Beautiful Dude not counter hit. Switches. Ah! God, and Beautiful Dude unfortunately flinched at that moment. I thought he was going to start putting on the block. Elfeld. Uh, Elfeld, very like, you know, rushed and oriented character that also has two stances. Very good projectile in that uh, Pine Dragon grenade. Yeah, we have quite a bit of good Elfelds in the US. Obviously, Lost Soul getting third place yeah. at Evo 2018. It's a phenomenal run that he had. But yeah, Elfeld, very strong. You can play two styles, right? She has a shotgun and a sniper. You can assume how she plays, right? Up close or far away. Good bait on that. You can slide under the Stun Dipper. Or sorry, you can slide on the stun edge, but you know he was ready for a YRC to punish the slide. Yeah, you see him fishing with that 3H. Great counter hit move. Nice anti air. That's what we we're talking about. Yeah, very on point with us. He's always looking for it. DRC, and he <laughs> gets it just to get the anti air. A little bit too far for the loops, but he opens them up on the way down. Nice. Yeah. Check some pressing a button, and you know, in that moment where like, you get counter hit, you try to block after that, but you knew that was coming, throws them. Yeah, always committed to that tech throw. It worked out one way or another. Tech forward, gets the whiff, but he wasn't able to get the knockdown. Omi, really struggling to sort of find an opening here. I know, I mean, Dead Spike is, he's got a fortress of 6P, so he's really keeping him out really effectively. But yeah. Oh, very nice, slides under the stun edge. Didn't expect it, now he's put himself in the corner. This is really where, Elfelt's able to do a lot of damage. That's why you see he switch to the Oki CQC. Let me get nice and close. Yeah, that's a command throw and does a ton of damage. Gets another setup. Okay, dead angle's out. Doesn't really want to deal with it. Throw. Maybe charge stun edge. Now he switched it up in the corner. This is where nice. Kai also gets extra damage. You're going to see the loops. Nice. Antier gets the lips off the loop. And. Oh, uh, yeah. Miss it. That's uh, often what happens when you miss a TP. You'll get charged stun edge because it's quarter forward eight. Ooh. That probably could have been a better punish, but still quite good. Yeah. Life lead, though, on the side of Omi. He's going to try to find the hit on the way out with a sniper. Uh oh. Gets tagged. Another one of Kai's anti is jump and kick, but not ready for that tech buttons from Omi. Yeah. Kai unable to get a knockdown from, from the air in a lot of situations, so. It's kind of difficult for him to, to do that when he's uh, trying to challenge in the air. Wow, good shotgun. He can do the corner. Overhead reset. There you go. All right, just goes for the small knockdown here. Trying to go for the setup. Didn't bite on the shoot. Okay, he's made himself some space, but he's already taken about 60% damage. Yeah. Took a lot of damage, but he finally fought his way out from the corner. As long as Kai has the ability to play neutral and throw buttons in your face, he has a chance. Ooh, PRC. Forces him to slow down, gets another hit. In the corner, Pineberry continues the combo. Yeah, just goes for an air combo on this one so he can get another setup. Has the shotgun ready to go. And this was a lot of chip. Oh. He tried to reject guard, but you know, the follow-up doesn't win against that. That's a perfect range for him to do that. That's gonna be a first game to Gearless Omi. She's pretty good after that's why controlled the first game very well. I was afraid of how this match is gonna Ooh, look. What a burst mate. Very nice. Good start early on. And if you bait the blue burst, you don't get any burst meter back. That means Omi is really going to struggle in this matchup. He's going to have to play some good neutral. He's getting open up. Sacred Edge to finish the combo. Dead angle, but he's got so much room. He's got so much space to make it. But, you know, if he can, like, you know, make the match take a little longer, he can get his burst back. He's holding the grenade. Or he wasn't. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Finds the hit. Yeah, he's extended this round as long as possible. He got. Pretty much 80% of his burst meter yeah, back. Yeah, got up to the, got most of the S filled in. Yeah, and for a blocked burst, that's a big deal, right? It, yeah. it would be that he wouldn't have get his burst until the third round. Now it's possible that he gets it right in this round right here, able to extend the game a little bit longer. Okay. Wow, that glide with the Pineberry, really tricky to deal with. Another one! Uh, oh my, into the Pineberry. Oh, he gets the splat, very nice! Pineberry throw, what's the mid setup? It's an overhead. Get him on top of the noggin, he's got almost 100 meters to work with right here. You can finish him off. Might have judged better half, yeah. There it is. Better half, it finishes it. That's going to be a set point here for Gearless Omi, looking good. 
Despac only needs one more round. He can extend this a little bit longer. But the uh -oh. times that Gearless Omi has been on top of Despac, it's been so difficult for him to find any offense after that. He blocks the Pine Berry. Stun Edge Antier get traded. Not bad. Antier again. He beats the YRC. Yeah, you know, right there, Omi. Yeah, he used the Pineberry setup so that he could uh, delay his fall a little bit. Kind of mixed up Death Spikes. And here, 6 H oh, no. counter hit. Downer hit. This is going to be a lot of damage. The Pineberry didn't pick him up. Lucky break for Death Spike. Able to play again. Dashes. Gets a hit. Gets another one. Just a stun just tickling up. Purple RC. He's holding the grenade. It's going to blow up. But he can block it in this version. Jump D, YRC. Yeah, it goes for the knockdown. Pineberry set up. Delay air dash. He didn't expect it. Probably waiting for the Pineberry, but that means Gearless Omi moving on through the. Yep. No different in this Guilty Gear. Toki versus Fu on the other hand. So, very distinctly different characters here. Yeah, so even Toki, the way that he plays Axel is a little bit different. He'll mix up the times, he zones out, and he goes in. He's super good at playing in your face with a character that's supposed to be able to play long range. You know, Axel's a character who, like, on paper, he has everything. He's got range, he's got close range, he's got a DP, he's got an unblockable. Nice. He air dashed over that. Yeah, and on paper, he has everything, but it just takes a good pilot, right? Toki's been playing this character since X was released. Fu, however, been switching from character to character. That's why he's such a, he's such a unique player, right? He has like the skills of a Potemkin player, but has the versatility of someone wow. who's playing a character like that. 6-H Party Crasher into the clap. Oh. Sorry. Oof. Yeah, that move is so fast. It's just a normal. And like, yeah, there That's it is why again. it's the Party Crasher. You just show up in the club like that. Hayabusa touches himself into the corner. And you know, you saw that Toki was pretty much dominating the match at first, and you know, who got it once and just destroyed him. Yeah, it is all, all about getting that knockdown, keeping the pressure up. Toki's doing very well. This is a great position for Axel being, but the nice 2P challenge. jabs him out. Switch aside. And he gets him to jump into the red ball. This is what I'm talking about, man. Fu's ball control is immense. He's got so much meter from that too. He used the big ball. Oh, wasn't able to get the combo off it. Yeah. But still, look at that sequence. Another big ball, yeah. Look at this damage. Oh, even still the got it. <laughs> oh, God, he gets a knockdown. It's so good. He's got such a good lead. He could even reverse turtle now if he wanted to, but he doesn't. He just flies in there with Hayabusa Toshi. Yeah, yet. I got the counter as well. Another big blue ball. ball. He's in. Oh, cheap. It's so cheap. He's at a pixel, but he's got no meter. He can't block that. Oh, wow. Such a sick confirm, I wasn't able to completely get it. but Because like it's so deliberate, it's like, wow, I see what you did there. Yeah. I know what you're doing. And the thing is that no one is good, no one is as good as ball control as Fu. And it's like, unlike playing anybody else. Because the way that what he controls, even Super Bowl, it's like, I don't know what to do. Like, the neutral is always controlled by him. Yeah. And while we say that, Toki, you know, once again, he always starts out with an early lead. But then, you know, food challenging. But this time, challenges back with the reversal. Oh, wasn't able to get the combo off that, but he still has great positioning in the corner. And he's building a guard oh. beat of the reversal from Fu. There you go. Clap him. Get him out of here. Send him across the screen. Keep the red ball to keep him safe. And that's what I'm talking about, the creativity from this guy. Ooh, good challenge from Toki there. Yeah, Toki doing so well, though. Oh, Snake Strike tried to get him in there. He's Clap one more time. Him. Did he get him? Yes, yes he, he did. did. In Hellfire, too. Big damage. Box the Benton. Some four Tigers sword through the burst. So. Oh, Goomba. Oh. Goomba stopped and then went for the mix up after that. I didn't expect that one bid. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since you've seen that movie. And you know, also we mentioned because he four Tigers sword through that burst. You know, Toki's got very little burst meter. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And this is going to be really difficult for him. If he gets to the third round, he's going to have a much better chance. But this is a tall order right here. Yeah, he's got his he's got his guard gauge cranked up. And if he can get a hit here, he can do a ton of damage. Oh, yeah. But who gets out? Oh, man. The mix up back and forth. Toki just deer in the headlights. Wasn't able to do anything. Plus frame still. And it's fully charged. It's plus frame. Nice. Nice, great. That's an actual special, right? Yeah, you feel like you can get over the fireball? Nope. He flips it up. 
But, you know, it's a pretty big commitment from him. <laughs> it is. A lot of recovery. If you get it blocked, it's a big deal. But a great way to deal with people with trying to instant air dash over your bar. Oh, nice red side Gekki. Yeah, throws oh, up Baby! Pokey with the hard reads! Wow, big money there. I mean, not a lot of damage, but gets rejected. But, you know, maybe he just made Fu angry. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, God, he might have made Fu angry. Ball Oki once again. Full charge, keeping the pressure up. Now Toki in the corner. Red Sun YRC, counter it out of the air. Throw, and this should be it. Yeah, he's able to combo off his throws. He doesn't need anything else, like a ball or something to help him out. There you go. This is what we were talking about, right? He extended this game. He got into the third round. Toki probably going to get a burst this time. Ooh, he's getting tired trying to come in here. Ooh. Oh, counter hit. He's able to dash up to S2. Oh, no. Too much momentum. Air text towards him, but trying to challenge. Toki's got all his answers. Air dash is over, but it's not in time. Uh-oh. There you go. Time to start the Oki. And Mrs. Air Combo gets thrown into the ball. Knocked down. Another one. Ooh, you're faking the throw that time. I'm trying to elicit a response from Toki, but he's willing to down back right now. Dead angle. Yeah, spent some of that meter. Big ball. He gets tagged by the Rensen. Yeah, he's here comes okay the ball. With it. He's trying to force the neutral here. Looks like a fake throw. Instant blocks. YRC. Oh my god, he didn't get the combo. Try to get him out of the air. Good patience from Fu. It's really tense right here. YRC. Throw, air throws him. Tags him with the red ball meaty. And he got the combo too. Oh, that's not going to be enough. He's in with the tech oh. out. He trades with the fireball. That was smart. Just use Right, so yeah. he'll find he'll go to an area and he goes like, "Oh, you're the top level, you know, alpha player in this region. Let's get a bunch of sets in." And Omi is starting out with a 50% lead, forces beautiful dude to burst. Yeah, on top of which, actually, he's also played uh, Nerd Josh quite a bit, who is one of the resident alpha players in SoCal. So he is going to know how to do it. But Omi starting off pretty strong here. And now, as we saw with the last match, you know. Raven is really good at getting in, but so is Elfa. You know, she can, she can air dash and pull the pin, and it has so much like dash momentum that you just end up full screen a lot of the time. And it's yeah. just sorry that just relentless rush down. Yeah. UI is a beautiful dude. Really strong to even get started. Omi on the side of Elfa really doing well here. And yeah, that, how, how well he's approaching, right? He's not overextending at all, but the counter hit no brew. Yeah, that that Pineberry is really good at dealing with uh, Little Eddie. So you just throw it and sometimes it just bumps into him. It really forces uh, Beautiful Dude's hand. Anti-air Nobiru. Good damage into Unsummon. Another Nobiru. Now he's out of Eddie, Little Eddie meter. There you go. Very good presence of mind from Omi right there. He, um, so when you see down there, whenever he makes a drill, if uh, you'll see this like other like little puddle on the ground, you can summon little Eddie out of that puddle, and you know it lets you do some positioning things you couldn't do normally. Yeah, right. That's one of the ways that you can force Eddie into a mix-up. Right, you do a drill, have a puddle next to the opponent, and then you're able to summon all the way away from you instead of onto you as well. And that's going to be tying up the round count one to one. Fearless Omi gets counter hit over a beautiful dude getting a chunk from that situation. Anti-air, but no confirm because of the pine berry. Kind of messed up the combo there. Anti-air or overhead block. Throws him in the corner. Can he block this mix-up? It's a low. Force the burst. One more time. YRC sets up the drill. Just eats the pine berry. Almost like a wall. Shoots little Eddie. YRC uses up all of his meter, That was though. in cold blood. He was right in front of his face. Unfortunately, Omi not really able to force his way in, but kills little Eddie again. But, you know, getting through some of beautiful dude's defense is going to be tough, but he is in now. Good challenge. There you go. Pick it up with Nobru. Nice IAD combo as well. Gets him some room behind him. Beautiful dude looking really good now. Pineberry, jump D. Knocks him down. Throws the Pineberry. It blows up. Yeah, but even though he's getting tagged here and there, the little Whoa. saving grace is that little Eddie is still alive. Able to take the round for him. We see sort of use the long range to get into close range, but that almost never happened. That last round was really a lot of people just sitting end to end and trying to poke each other out. Yeah, good anti air from beautiful dude. To start oh the my round. god, that was a 60% chunk. We didn't even get to the 80s yet. 
Nice. Oh my god, but guess who can return the favor? Elfelt with the damage. Yeah, Elfelt's corner damage is among the best in this game. And he's got meter too. I don't know if he'll kill, but he's gonna have another setup, but he misses it. Oh, and that's gonna be able to pick it up. Man, <laughs> people just dealing damage left and right. That was a quick round there. Killer's only trying to tie it up. Yeah, beautiful dude. I think he was we knew the tech buttons was coming, but I think he missed time the 6P, only just got in there with that jumping slash. Yeah, Zato's 6P, kind of hard to do. It's a lot better at dealing with instant air dash than like traditional anti-airs. Don't really see it like that. Eddie Buzz saw, but he's out of any health. Yeah, that's why you saw the RC. He goes for the damp fang. Damp fang command, though. You can't tech that one. And it does give, like, basically all of your anything back when it does hit. Exactly. Great round from Beautiful Dude. Another quick one. These guys are going back and forth. But Beautiful Dude now sitting at set point. Vital Express, counter hit trade. But he's got the corner position somewhat. That's soft. Locking it down, little Eddie. Unsummons. It's buying a little time now. Oh, wait, he missed the unsummon. He's dead. Yeah, but the one good thing about Beautiful Dude in this game so far, he's been playing so well without Eddie. It almost feels like he never has an issue without him, right? Okay, counter hit, gets a knockdown. Lomi's in trouble here. He's got to keep something happen. Yeah, you see it? He didn't have Eddie that entire time. No big deal. Willing to block it out. Nice playing challenge. great defense. Okay, tight little Eddie. Missed on fire. I misses. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, I like the reflect there. Was able to get rid of Eddie. There he is, one more time. The oh, burst. burst. Yeah, he just wants to get out of this. Want to get baited. The control. Dead man's hand. The classic from UYU's beautiful dude, unable to finish it off right there. Trying to meet him in the air, but the 5P going to take it. You got to expect it once or twice from this man. It might be Kizzy K. That's right. Let's see what happens. So backing off to start, good instant blocks, got them. Good anti-air. Yes. And Sin doing so much damage. He's going to punish him every time he gets one of those six Bs. And yeah, he's got a great lead. But one thing about Raven, he's got one of the highest guts in the game. But that means that when he gets to the end of the life bar, it's going to be really hard to finish that kill off. Yeah, so the less life he has, the more defense he has. It's across the board, like certain characters have you know, more or less guts. Uh -oh. there you Tries go. to reset him because he doesn't doesn't get caught by that. Yeah, and very smart for him to stay attentive even while getting hit. That yeah. way he didn't get reset. And throw. Might even up back dashes into the pin. Double scratch. He's got the level one now. Uh oh. He burst. This is oh, a bad one. Not a great burst though. Great confirm though from Kazunoko off the far S. That was good for him. He was able to take the first round. However, Kizzy, no more burst meter. Bad look for him right now. Yeah, and he lost it right at the end, too, so it yeah. means he may not even get it back. This is it. SCR, baby. You got to see a California burst every now and then. And he low profile just to force him to block. So, you know, we didn't mention this yet, but you get hit by the pin. Oh, counter hit. Oh, never mind. No pickup, but still the pressure right here. Starts it off with the 2H for the pressure. Okay. Doesn't let go. Wow, try to bait out a throw. Yeah, with a 6H on top of that. You don't see that often. Volta Vol gain. Keeping him locked down. Building that guard meter. Oh my god, Ooh. the risk blinking. Got to worry about a counter, counter hit. RTL. Yeah, and he's casting out because, oh, oh no, it's in combo. But he catches him again with that 2S. Not over yet. Drop kick. Here comes yeah. the blender. Go. Knocked out once again, toss the ball. Into oh. low. Backdash. Okay. Yeah, He's out of there. Made something out there. Uh, uh -oh. And the pin. YRC gets the combo. Knockdown. No, not yeah! one. Yeah! So big he reads it. it. What a read. Oh, my God. <laughs> Putting the same situation down. He knew that he would get him out of here. Cousin Knuckle one step ahead right there. That was gross. <laughs> Impressive. Almost didn't need to, right? He had the corner pressure. He was able to get the knockdown, but that was a statement. Good DP there from Kizzy. Hawkmaker, invincible, uncancelable against other specials. Okay, forces him to whiff, gets a hit there. there goes for an OTG tech setup there. Kazunogo switches it up. Now puts Kizzy Reject it, holds it. And, you know, switches sides using the follow up. But forced to burst on Kazunoko's next opening. Here comes Kazunoko, 
Goes for reset. But, you know, still keeping the pressure on regardless. Yeah, this is a hallmark of Kasunoko's play. It doesn't matter what game it is. He is going to try to rush you down. Double scratch. Here comes the ball. Into low. Oh, man, Into another I, one. I love him mixing up the ball setups, too. You saw a TK ball setup as well. I mean, he is just making it so difficult to read the Oki. He's been super impressive on it, really. Yeah. I just think I got hit. Yeah, that's, that's me. Yeah, good jump out there. Dizzy K recognizing when he has the opportunity, when he doesn't counter hit from both sides, wasn't able to pick it up. He's chasing the block there. Gets out. He's in follow the defense. Hawk Baker out of the corner. Yeah, you were talking Catches about the that back before. Dash. Very nice. Reject guard, but he, he, I guess he tried to read Kizzy's reflect. Like I think he tried yeah. to uh, read a blitz Counter back. Blitz, yeah. yeah, Kizzy with no food. He's got to be careful. Can't use any special moves. Goes for Voltic Dane. There this could go. probably kill. Yeah, he's going to go for a knockdown setup Ooh. right there. I thought he could have done another RTL. He probably could have RTL. Oh! Yeah, that guts. Oh, man, that guts. That's right. He has full meter, though. That's a dead angle if he has it. That's a Ooh, reverse okay. throw RTL. The blitz in the air, and he nice. reads it that time. That's a fantastic read from Crazy K, recognizing what was happening last time, and then grabs him out of his blitz. Yeah, so in this game, if you get reject guarded, you can't do anything, but you can counter blitz. Ooh, tried to go for a dust there. Kazunoko just kept hitting buttons. Big driver. Big driver nullifies projectiles. Yeah, what a wire C though. Keeps him safe. Catches him out of the back dash. Double scratch. TK ball just jumps out of it, but he's still stuck. Okay, yeah. His fuzzy jumping right there seems what it looks like is getting him out of those dusts. Yeah, 5 hit him out of the air, so no combo off it. Okay. Air throw again. Same situation as last time. Back dashes oh. into that. This is bad. Burst gets blocked. Once again, reading the burst, Kazunoko up two to zero versus Kizzy K. Reminder: This is winners finals. Like, you know, pushing these rounds to their limit, but in the end, I think like really critical plays from Kazunoko are really starting to steal these rounds away. Kazunoko's Oki has been phenomenal. Yeah. You can see that the way that Raven's unique air dash works. It depends on the height of his uh, air dash. So if he air dashes higher, he can change his trajectory. The mix-ups have been really difficult to deal with for that reason. Immediate this time off that air throw. Leaps in. Got a chance here, but with that move, Kazunoko punished. And oh, this no. time. The 5D connects this time in the corner. Gonna use the command grab to get a little bit more excitement. He jumps out of it though, but you know, even if you jump out of it, if your opponent knows you're gonna jump, he just air throw you. Yeah, that's true. You gotta be ready for it. Stick a button out early or something, but that's going to be set point for Kazunoko. Knocked down near the corner. Hawk Baker. Yeah, able to heat as well. Big win for him there. Okay, counter hit Elk Hunt. And close enough for close S2. That's great. Able to get enough damage. Driver, a wire season time. Yeah, and able to get the full calories too. Okay, gets a knockdown. He's looking really good. This round catches the back dash. Man, rare get drop. Jump deep, Voltic Dane. He's gonna eat. He okay, nullifies the projectile, it's very strong. Forced to block this YRC pin. He's gonna block this mix up, blocks the dust. Air YRC, blocks the knee drop. Wow, whiff into throw. Yeah, no excitement though, so you're not gonna get a lot out of that. The block. He's just blocking those dusts. Oh. Blocks the pin, but gets caught low, blocks the dust. Really, you know. Yeah, this is important. Raven doesn't have another overhead out of uh, on standing, so 5D is really the way to open him up like that. Air throw. He's in again. Good block on the dust, but he challenges. Hops is playing this so well, so patiently. He's waiting for his moment. And he's really, even if he doesn't win this round, he's really trying to get Kizzy's burst. You know, of course, he could just win it, too. Yeah, he's getting really yeah, close. Yeah, forces oh. Kizzy to burst, and he might even win on top of that, and he does. He reads the tech, gets the crab. That's going to be 3-0. to zero. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, like, you, uh, you where the moon is. A billion sets between these two, and it's going to come down to just a 2 out of 3. So he gets the tag on the little Eddie to start, and, uh, you know, but... Beautiful dude already pretty much has it back. He got that hit, used it to buy time to get Little Eddie back. Nice, why is he check the check the position of Little Eddie punished him? He's using the crawl. 
Yeah, you see him playing this really patiently. He's still he's taking a lot of damage. He's waiting for the Eddie. Reflex the as hit. well. <laughs> okay, tags a little Eddie, so he's got some space to work with, but you know, it's he's trying to get in, but you know, I think Beautiful Dude's ready for him. He's just set his set the traps. Oh man, that tech trap with the 6H no brew, that's scary to deal with. That's gonna be almost a perfect for Beautiful Dude. Great round, especially when you start out losing your Eddie like twice in a row. That was fantastic. Yeah, and I think that part of it's like once you get little Eddie, you know, the imp he, you feel like, okay, I can get in now because he's going to little Eddie. But honestly, Zato can still defend himself. He still have to play around his own normals. Oh, yeah, definitely. Keeps the pressure up. Yeah, he doesn't block that low. Yeah, and Fu loves just defending. It's a good way to make sure your tension pulses up. And it's a good way to constantly get meter and get out of bad situations. But nice throw. it's a good way to also get your opponent to bait on a stagger pressure and then get a hit off that. Big ball. Little, <laughs> little ball. Oh, no. Oh, nice blocks from Beautiful Dude, but not afterwards. RC, yeah. good timing on the burst. He makes him spend 50%. Throw again. Ball comes back. Not a time. Okay, it's a bit of a scramble, but... Great block of the overhead. YRC. Yeah, a little bit too early, so he didn't get the ball that he wanted. Yeah, so he instant blocks the drill, like, throws out a couple of normals to check if Eddie's there. And even if he's not, he can erase the puddle. YRC, they both YRC. There you nice. go. Wow. Nice. Knew the situation with the situation was both the air throw. Tried to OTG and wasn't able to get it. That's just a pixel of life from beautiful dude, but that's all he needs. He just needs to keep food locked down. Ooh, he might have tried to reflect, but I think Fu YRC to mess the timing. Yeah, that might have been a, a kind of difficult to get inputs right after after the YRC freeze. Well done, yeah. Jumps out of the command, but he's tagged by no beater. The classic command grab setup. Oh, you're going to jump out of my setup. Here's a Nobu. Nice. Good challenges from Fu here. Gets a counter hit. Forces beautiful to the Why YRC used to block that. Yeah, very nice. Is it coming back? No. Yo, that's all the Eddie meter from Beautiful Dude. Nice blocks from Fu. He actually yeah. chicken guards a couple of that as well. Look at all those just offense. He's got his guard bars in danger, but he blocked everything, so he's not in trouble anymore. Oh, sweep. He didn't get it, and then Beautiful Dude recognized. Jab checked him out of it. He had to spend the burst. Ooh, okay. Traded a little bit of health for Little Eddie there, but now Little Eddie's almost back. I see him. Full charge on the red kick. Keeps the plus frames. Keeps the plus frames. One Ooh, check. Wow. Sneaky dust. Block. Wire seems to get in, and he's in. He goes to come for the command cross up as well. He's got the corner pressure. Goomba stop. Goomba stop. Well. Oh my god. You gotta worry about the angle? dead angle. Yeah, there oh, it wait, is. There it is. This has gone to a wire now. Who's gonna take the first game? Okay. Mess with the reflect by controlling the ball. Wow. He just catches him flinching. That was going to be. YRC, it's, it's a good play because it does force, you know, Fu to respect that. He can reflect it, but in the end there, it did end up costing him. Go beat a counter hit to get started here. Wow. There you go. Party Crasher gets him out of the corner. You know, uh, Beautiful Dude was out of any meter, so anything he would have done would have lost the Party Crasher at that point. Bro, RC is going to hurt. Oh, do it again. Big there damage. You go. Look at that damage. Overhead. Just, yeah, wasn't able to come it into the blue ball, but he's got a healthy life lead. Party Crasher eats Eddie, but Zato's still alive. Gets the damn thing. Command throw. We'll build all of the little Eddie back. Pressure. Right. Burst. Fifty percent to Good keep block. the pressure up. Nice to check. They yeah, tried to run and do something, but it didn't work out. Yeah, he might just try to run up command grab, or, or uh, command grab, just regular grab, sorry. And uh, that's not a bad idea. You expect after someone goes a full block train that there's like, all right, it's not my turn. Beautiful dude, recognizes and checks. Good damage. Yeah, one thing that we haven't talked about is Heiji has a big body, so it is really difficult for him to get around all the things that Little Eddie can do as well. Yeah, he's quite heavy, he's a big, he's a big grandpa. Nice, the sandwich into the unblockable. Yeah. Ooh, didn't even it, it. <laughs> he just went for the cross up. Of course, he gets tagged for Tiger Sword. Look at that. Huge damage. 
Double low into the plus frame. Oh, no, Ooh. into the unblockable. Held it all the way. This is little Eddie. He's backing off now. Yeah, playing it patiently here. Who's waiting for his moment. Finally got 25%. Burst. That's not a good burst. He's still oh. alive, but no. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good burst. That's going to make it really difficult to do anything afterwards. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. Okay. Full charge. Out charge. the plus frame. Yeah. Wow, the reversal throw on the plus frame. Yeah, I think it got the IB there, so it might not have been, you know, he might have been able to throw there. Nice, no beat of counter hit anti air. Huge damage. YRC is to try and get out of there, but it doesn't work. Yeah, he's seen that once or twice before. Had the Nobu ready for it that time. Yeah, he's just keeping him out. Kills little Eddie. He's got a chance here, but once again, beautiful dude with the challenge. Oh, what a jump. K stuffs him on the way in. Even YRC to get a little bit more room. But yeah. beautiful dude. Now on set point. He just got counter hit so many times. That stun was inevitable. Yeah, Boo's maybe getting a little bit impatient. He might be forcing this more than he should. Maybe, but he does ID over that invite hell. Gets him in the corner. Humble off it because it's red. Very nice. Overhead. Big slaps. Behind him, so he gets a combo off it. Yeah, there you go. That's what he wanted the first time he used the clap. Got it this time. Overhead. Got the overhead. There you go. Great round from Foo. That's the sort of confidence that you need to be able to take the set, but it's going to go to the final round. You need a player could do this here. I be. Nice. Oh. Counter hit. Pick it up. Thank you, Eddie, for getting me that damage. He's trying to raise the puddle. Runs right into an anti air. ID. Goomba stop. Oh my god, that was great blocks, Walk but the throw. tick pressure. Wow, forced the burst. They're about even here. Ooh, ID yeah. over. Oh no, he didn't get the combo, but still knocked down in the corner. Combos off that. I Overhead, this should kill maybe? No. no. Oh, he's trying to put as many what? hits as possible, <laughs> but the big elbow from downtown, 6H. Finals match, KZK versus Fu. I know we just talked about a couple of friends playing, but this is another two set of guys. These guys play online all the time. Yeah, and you know, Kizzy won the first time, but maybe Fu's got uh, something else besides taking 50% at the start of the round. God, I mean, that's sin, baby. Oh, wow. no. Oh, no. Oh, oh you want to talk about 50%? You well, want to talk about 50%? Whoop. And he, oh, oh, no, he missed the clap yeah. that time. Yeah, but send him back out of the corner. Still res very respectful damage. Yeah. Messed up the combo, still got 40%. First. Okay. He's got low on food, so you can really lock him down here. And if you can prevent Kizzy from getting food, he's not going to be able to like, play break his gameplay very well. And yeah. unfortunately, not able to stop Tep there. Yeah, unfortunately, Coom doesn't really have anything that sends him uh, full screen, so really difficult for him to pressure in that situation. Yeah, I think the only option against the charged beak driver would have been to blitz it. Yeah. And then that would, that's the only way he could have stopped him from eating there. But Kizzy K is going to take this round with another combo. Yeah. RTL going to finish it off. Kizzy K started off very strong in that round, and that definitely helped him seal the deal. Remember, this is Loser's Finals. Sorry, but this is going to be a 3 out of 5, just reminding you. Again, Kizzy with a good start. Eats, but Wire sees it. He thought he saw Fu. Yeah, so he didn't get the full calories. Fu is able to keep the pressure up still. And oh, oh, my God. Counter it. He burst that. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a load of damage. Okay, one hit? Yo, one hit confirms. Third strike? Let's go. And he got it behind him this time. Double. Oh, he that burst is sky high. Oh, that's not a bad burst if you can get the read on the opponent doing another four swords. But that time, Fu was ready and able to get the punish. He's got no food meter and... <laughs> What is oh my god, he's able to combo off it as well. <laughs> Kizzy K, you madman. Wake up, Super. It's going to hit, I think. Yeah. Just needs a little bit left. Yeah, Hawk Baker keeps him safe into Another Baltic Day. Baltic Day. He, he gets something. hit by it. 
He tried something. He must have done like party oh. crash, I think. It might have been. Yeah, I, I, I can believe that. The 6H trying to get through. It did not work that time. He just needed a trade, so. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that as well. There you go. <laughs> there Start it off. Grandpa Viper. No, the burst. Ooh, it gets tagged again. Any bursts? Yeah, you see Fu, he took all that damage because he knew those were horrible burst points. Had to do it right then. Okay. There you go. Go and see overheads. overhead. RC's it. I'm not sure what the RC was about. I think he messed up the ball pressure because he saw the ball momentum was kind of weird. I think he wanted the RC in order to continue the combo into the ball, but, you know, couldn't, uh, couldn't optimize it on the fly like that. Hawk Baker. Wow. Knock down. Just nothing. And Fu, uh, Dizzy K says, all right, it's my turn. That's kind of tough there. That was probably his chance to really do it. He starts off and blocks the mix up, blocks the whole mix up. He doesn't block that part. Yeah, and the risk gate started a little bit higher than normal, so that means this scaling only started after that. Easy way to finish it off. Gizzy K. Three rounds straight now, looking good. Yeah, Hawk Baker. It's not really, you know, if, you can, if it's that close, that DP will hit. Hawk Baker is like a uppercut that you can cancel with other special moves. Yeah, it's very unique in that regard, right? But when you're playing against Sin, you have to think about it, you know. This guy pretty much has a safe TP. How do I deal with it? Yeah, the only real way to deal with it, make it with. Uh, oh, wow, blitzed him back. Yeah, and was the one to win on that war. He has full meter, too. Is he going to be able to kill? No, he drops the combo. Boo. Just has a little bit of life left, but he's almost going to get the burst back. Bending Mina for Tiger Sword. Fire C. It worked out for him. He's on low food. He's yeah, still yeah. on low food. He's trying to keep the pressure up. He doesn't want him to eat. Wire C. Okay, gets the knockdown. This is a great situation. Little food means it's going to be difficult for him. That red ball, not going to come back. Yeah, and like in this situation, it's going to be hard for him to reversal, you know, with Talk Baker this time because it costs Food Meter to cancel. And uh, the Goomba stop, no view. Yeah, he dropped the combo. That was so unfortunate. Looking very strong. Zoom's just, you know, is doing really well. It's just like he's unable to complete the whole sequence. Oh, no. Oh, That's my six, God. Eight. What is that damage? You cannot get hit by that move. Yeah, jump 6H, one of his best starters. Wow, nice hands here. Counter. We're just trying to get in there. RC's it! A great read on that burst right there, but uses a dead angle. All of his de defensive options. Jumping burst? Blitz? This is what I'm saying, man. They're getting the Cloud9 at this point. They're trying to get on another level. The block on that. Hawk Baker he whiffs. Gets punished. You see that even going for a great counter hit starter as well. The RTL going to finish the deal. And Kizzy K now at set point. Sweeps. Wow, Hawk Baker putting in so much work. Sends the full screen, gets some food in there. there you go. Risk is high, you don't want to get hurt. Yeah, if he gets hit here, it's going to do massive damage. Oh, oh no! Okay. Oh, he ate, he ate a saved food. It could have been his whole life right there. Okay, a little creative there in that setup. He doesn't buy that. Air reject, rejects back. Fully charged. Oh, red ball, slides under it. Man, actually put himself in the sandwich, but Kizzy K unfazed pokes himself. Okay. Both players on full meter here. So Shenanigans yeah. coming, there it is. It's both the game. Gets the combo off it, and that risk was pretty high. No, it dropped the combo. Wow, baited that out pretty much. Wow, didn't even want to deal with it. Multic Dane deals with it. Oh, wow. And combos off it as well. That's all of his meter, however. Uh, and keep it simple with the foots. He's far S in the beak driver. UIU Kizzy K. Kizzy K. It's going to be Grand Finals SCR 2018. Guilty Gear Excerpt Rep 2 action. Kizzy K on the loser side is going to need two sets in order to take it. Kizzy K, you know, off to a pretty good start. Good challenge there on that slide. Force Kazunoko to burst. Yeah, already a pretty good life lead. Play, Ooh, nice okay. back task. The PRC keeps itself safe. Full to gain, it hits. There you go. This is a confidence from Kizzy K that wasn't in the first set. This is what I want to see. Ooh, gets Aerithone out of this leap. 
now it's Kazunoko's turn. Air ball, air dash is out. Yeah, even the YRC, making sure that he's safe. Ooh, kind of trades. Can get up. Kill? Oh does. my god, I will hit something eventually. And yeah, those kind of multi-hit moves are much better when the opponent has like lo lower health. Because even though they have higher defense, you know, each hit has like a bit of damage. Yeah, exactly. Good stuff. There you go. This is a familiar sight from Winter's Finals in the corner, dealing with this pressure, but his nice. neighbor's out. Good chunk again by Kizzy. He's really doing a lot better on the ground game here. Oh man, the double jump in the pin, but he's still in the corner. Block, but he gets the elf kind of eats. He gets punished, but he got the food in. Yeah, he'll take that punish. Very minimal damage, but it's the OP that's the problem. Okay, great. Mission. Hawk Baker into here. Voltic Dane is going to yeah, come in. Gold down. burst through it. That's a great way to deal with it. Yeah, he gets another hit. He's got full meter. He had full meter. Spend all on pins, maybe. Yeah, he's gonna keep the pressure up. Wow, very nice. I guess that, yeah. Sorry, that was super impressive because you expect a guy, a Raven with 75% meter, to actually go for another pin YRC to keep the pressure up. Actually got greedy there and just went for the dive on its own. Yeah, because he knew the YRC. He thought, I know you know that the YRC is coming. So I'm just not gonna do it. Yeah, little things like that, man. Kazunoko, something else. Hawk Baker. Ooh, air tech button. Good jump into that to mitigate the mix up. And yeah. here's it's a here 5k. That was so good. That was crazy. Tries to slide into that, doesn't work. He tries to do something. Oh, it's not over yet, though. Look at all that meter on the side of KCK. Gonna spend Dane. a little bit on the multi chain. Oh, RTL! Gets out of that. It's Hellfire, Hellfire. Too. Pick it up. Yes, sir. Big damage. He's got a chance to win this round. Eat. Close to the OB here. Gets the counter at 2S. Hawk Baker blocks the burst. Still help on Cosmo the side. 2S! And that's going to be the first round for Kizzy K. Well, that confidence now, you see it. He ran up DP on his Oki. Yeah. That's the good You are going to stay locked down, yeah. sir. And I really like the adjustments from Kizzy K. He's doing so much better on the ground game here. And it's really showing. Of course, he jumped right down, got air throws. But... Air throws, Kazunoko. Double E, of course, Kazunoko to come in. Good is the box into the Let's air throw. Go, Kizzy K, throw him in the corner. That was so good. So you know, those things did try to lock you down, but if you instant block it, you can air throw just like that. YRC, checking out what he's doing. Jumps in. Kazunoko to count. A slow, good challenge, another! Oh, the second hit of a 5-8. He's trying to take the corner pressure away from Kazunoko. Jump D, RC's it on the Double other side! Double overhead! Good damage, he's got such a good lead here, but low food. This could be a problem, he needs to find a place to eat. Kazunoko's got so much meter, jumps in, gets the throw! OTG with the 2-H, Kizzy K! Looking so good! This is looking fantastic, he's got Kazunoko on the ropes! This is the thing though, this is a Kazunoko. You can't keep him locked down for that long. He's gonna need two sets. Can Kizzy K keep this up? I know, right? Good blocks, but he's taking a little bit of damage there. Good block again. And Kazunoko backs off. He doesn't really want to get tagged by that type of like Kizzy K big damage. Man, he's getting so much wow. mileage out of that jump D now. Jumping Hawk Baker! Doesn't bite on it, he's charging that beat driver. Like, uh, he's low on he's low on food now. He needs to find a knockdown of some sort. He's got meter to do it though. Nice there it, is. there it is, that's exactly what he needed. Fortnite 2 h knocks him down again. RTL, he was moving! Oh but no. doesn't hit, yeah. It yeah, just... it's a weird angle because it's it's a canned distance that the first one goes. Uh-oh. Burst. Fully charged! Oh my god, right in front of right his face! Right in front of his face! Big damage here, but one more situation, he could kill Kazunoko. Still got the burst though, you gotta worry about it. Hawk Baker again, and again. Oh, Bates a dead angle! And he gets the punish, Kizzy K goes up two to zero. Amazing. And he just cranks it up. And in that situation, it's just really hard to deal with. Like he's willing to sit back on the other side of the screen because he knows if Kazunoko does anything nice. wrong, he can leap in. Exactly. 
And his defense is so much better this set. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and he's not jumping to say anything like that. Really forced Kazunoko to play the ground game a lot more. And it's getting so much reward. RTL. No. This is the last one. Yeah, try to delay it so he can pick up the combo afterwards. Wait, in the RC. He's using that not only for extra damage, but to get away from the corner. Ooh, in a low again. But in a low doesn't hurt too much. There you go. Coast nice to coast. challenge. Yeah, that, I don't think we even saw that challenge from Winner's Finals. This is a Grand Finals difference. Dizzy K with the confidence here. Bro. Three, oh two, God. one. Danger time. All right, first, first RTL. RTL. And it works. It hit. Can he pick it up? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh Dizzy my God. K Dizzy K. the first. What was that? That was incredible. Set point for Kizzy K. He's trying to reset the bracket. Hawk Baker to beat out that pressure. Bates the back dash. Huge damage. There you go. Great damage there. Even gets the E cast meter to work with, but the check from Kazunoko. But Kizzy K fires back. What was that? 2P. Voltic, Voltic Dane. Dane. What's the mix up? It's just a blow. Hawk Baker again. There you go. That's the confidence I want to see from this guy. Probarcy from both players. Hawk Baker, big, big driver. Counter hit. hit. A little bit too far. Oh. And the jump. D. We got a reset. You see him in this position. This is a familiar sight for him, but he's going to try to take it in Kazunoko. He's just throwing him into losers. He's going to need one more set in order to take it. Right over that 2H. Another corner combo for Kizzy K. It's the food. Got him locked down. Ooh, okay. That leap got checked by an air throw there. Air throw still on point from Kazunoko. Puts him in the corner. He jumps right in the buzzsaw. He gets the RC. Big damage force Kazunoko to burst. Yeah, that's a good burst from Kazunoko. He's trying to mitigate the damage here. Put him in the corner. Good whiff punish, too. Okay. Kazunoko comes in, gets the throw. There you go. That's the change of pace that Kazunoko needs. Shoot, nice check. Confirms the clash, goes straight into 5P. Voltic Dane, what's the mix up? Force the dead angle. And the pin hits. Double scratch, OTG. Low health for both players. Kazunoko comes in. It doesn't burst. Oh my god, Kazunoko. Voltic, Voltic Dane, Dane once again trying to catch him out of the air. What was that jump eight? Oh, sucked him into it. Is it enough? It's not enough. We can still win this here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Catches him in once again. Kazunoko. Yeah, that 2S looks like it's quite good against Beat Driver at that range. Yeah, Kazunoko still diving in from downtown despite Kizzy K answering him so much more consistently now. This guy is unfazed. The game plan is still intact. First, and oh my god, got away with punish. this. Counter hit Beat Driver. <gasps> Puts oh. him back towards the corner. Still got the black beat. Still got the combo. Counter hit 6P. That means it combos into the command grab. Runs up. Easy K. Pushes him back towards the corner. Jump D. Volta gain. What's the mix up? Dust. Block. Oh, bad. No. Anti air, but he's got that wrist gauge built up. He's going to do more damage. Yes. Gets the full combo that time. Has the RTL. No. Drops it. Tech forward. Kazunogo gets out. Backdash YRC. YRC from Kazunoko in response. The answer to the answer. Kazunoko's adapting. Wow, nice instant block and throw. Now Kazunoko's in the corner. There you go. PRC. PRC. Tries to catch him. He doesn't have a lot of food. This is a bad situation for Kizzy. Speak drivers. He's got like one or two special moves in him. Backdash away and he just runs into the pin. Kizzy K trying to get aggressive there at the... Or now Kazunoko's up 1-0. Do you want to talk about the amount of Voltic Dane we've seen out of Kizzy K? That's mostly because Super don't truncate your punch and pulse, which is what helps you gain meter. Yeah, so then he runs up and then he ends up getting a lot of his meter back. Yeah, exactly. Normally when you do uh, RC, PRC, YRCs, those, trunk those slow down your tension pulse, which means you get less meter for a couple of seconds. With Supers, he's able to keep the pressure up and not worry about that. Right now, right now, Kazunoko's ground game has changed up his timing quite a bit. He's catching Kizzy, trying to move in. There you go, gets the most out of that one. The stats, well, toss him in the corner, RTL, RTL it works hit. again! And he gets the delay, but... Oh, yeah, still, missed the 2P. That's tough. But Kizzy still has a chance here. 
Nice reject from downtown. And the 6-8, he gets the burst. Is he on low food? We get to Peak Driver. He's got his food back now. Yeah, he has there, a Peak Driver! Combo. Keeping the meter for the mix-up. Gets hit, doesn't bolt to Dane there. He might have wanted to do that. He has so much meter to work with. It confirmed the first oh. was too far. It whiffed and big loss from Kizzy K there. Yeah, he almost turned it back around. Yeah, he was trying to save that extra 50% for a mix-up, but never had the opportunity to use it. Yeah, he did land that jump D, he just didn't have the presence of mind to use it. Hawkmaker! There you go. Not gonna eat just yet, going for the mix-up. Yeah, goes for the food there. Yeah, and that's a much better food eat from him because Kizzy K or Kazunoko wasn't expecting it. Able to get away with it, Scott Free. Oh, tags him out of the air. Yeah, good combo for Kazunoko. That's still full meter from Big KCK. Big driver walks into it. He's alive, but for how long? Yeah, he's got meter to green guard some stuff, but yeah. it can only do so much. And that's going to be the 6P for the anti-air. Two games quick from Kazunoko. You know, Kizzy made a lot of great plays last game by you know, you know, suddenly becoming extremely aggressive. And I think Kazunoko has really caught on to that rhythm change from Kizzy. That's yeah, not over yet, though. Kazunoko is going to need one more to take SCR 2018. Another burst doesn't work out. Not as much damage as last time, but that's a big loss. It is. It goes for the low again. Rejected, but doesn't work. Leaps right into that. RC from Kazunoko, he's got tons of meters in the super here. Yeah, and the good thing about the way that he ends this, right, is he ends it as fast as possible. Kizzy K, not getting that much burst meter left, and this is going to be the last round that Kazunoko needs. Kizzy K might not even get his burst in this round. Let's see what happens. Kizzy in with the corner. Nice, bait at the end here. Yeah, just a regular dump, late air dash, he earns the burst for it. Okay, has Kazunoko back in the corner, but he's low on food, he's going to get the food back here. RC. RC. Yes, he's going to get the full confirm here. Sin does so much damage in the corners. Well worth the meter. Oh, yes. caught him flinching. I'll he hit something him. eventually. That's the perfect. Is he not willing to go out quite yet? Yeah, that was such an important round. He might get the burst in this round. Trying to take it another game. I mean, he killed him so fast, he didn't get his own He didn't get back. that much, right? Yeah. But I'll take the round for sure. Another good situation for Kizzy. Yeah, he's back in the corner. Kizzy can do it here with his pressure here. Catches him flinching. Oh, man. Ooh, that move is so good. Yeah, because he pressed the button, put himself in the range of the 5 bait. RC tries to eat, doesn't quite work out. Yeah, and that's a big burst. Didn't oh. keep him from eating. He actually got raw eat. Yeah, he snuck it in there. That's it worked crazy. Out. I didn't expect it either. Baits out the Blitz guard and, and RTL. RTL. One, two, two three. three. That's it? Yeah. There you go. And the stagger, Kizzy K. One to two. All right, let me just lay him down on the ground, go for Oki. The stagger burger works out. Yeah, I think so. And you know, Kizzy's not willing to go out here. Yeah, not without a fight, right? Taking four games already on Kazunoko. What a feat that is. But he's going to need two more to take the tournament. Ooh. That looked like he's about to jump. That looked like the first all command grab of the Grand Finals. Like, he hasn't pulled that out in quite some time. Yes, bro. Back action out of the setup, but Kazunoko's coming in. YRC, Anthro broken. Oh my god, I feel like I saw a unicorn. Empty jump low, gets the food. He's a K, he's shown that when he's low on health, he's even more powerful. Hawk Baker. Overhead oh, into Baltic Dane. Gets a Huge confirm. damage! Yeah, the Hellfire damage helping out the life deficit. Hawk Baker, he forces the dead angle. Pin does not work, it didn't meet he. Oh, Big no. damage, RTL! RTL! OTG? No, he doesn't need he's got an RC. There you go, Kissy K. You're talking about it, man. When he gets that low on life, it's a power up. It's not just the Hellfire. He's gonna get on another <laughs> level, snatch him out of the air! That was quite an opener for Kazunoko. Another anti air. Yeah, and the excitement already so high. This is a bad situation for Kizzy. Uh oh, oh these commandos do so much damage when he's that excited. And this might even kill him. Yeah, this super does more damage the more excited you are. You can see that blinking bar on your screen. That's going to hurt a lot. Oh wow, Kizzy challenging that low health. 
That's the first time a weird setup has not worked out. Gets wow. the overhead, cobbles off it. Busy is at 50 meter too. He can do another setup. Bolt Bolt Dane. Dane. Keeps the pressure. Double overhead Ooh. and the scoop doesn't work out. Good and resolve from Kazunoko. Yeah, I think he missed the forward jump there. And that's what he made it with. Uh oh. Knocked down. Good burst. Jumps out. He's out of the corner, but he has Kazunoko in the corner now. Leave. Oh man, the delayed overhead. Good stuff. Gets the food in. Kazunoko takes the opportunity. Gets out of the corner. Oh, oh that 2 H. Such good timing from Kazunoko. Tries to jump out of that. Doesn't work. We're setting the command throw. Is that enough? Yeah. First super. And that's going to be it. Kazunoko is going to be your SCR 2018 champion. Good stuff to Kizzy K though, man. Uh, like I was saying before,